Hi, John here. In this video, we're going to be making injection mode quality 3D printed parts. So it's easier to press the layers smooth. If you were to have layer lines, it's, it's harder to get this kind of smooth look. I only spend doing this like a couple of minutes. And if you spend more time on it, you could probably get it like perfect. So I'm So, my tripod broke. As you guys can see, it's a molded part. It used to be a heated insert at the bottom part. It failed, it broke. I think I can redesign it and make it better. So this is what I came up with. It's a sturdier, beefier design. And it's going to incorporate some of the old parts. Thank you to Avis for sending the Polyphemus. And no, they do not ship it this way. My dog was trying to get into it before I did. A very important part of 3D printing is dry filament. So Avis sent this out for us to try out. This is very simple to put together. Probably one of the best 3D printing filament dryers out in the market. And not only it dries, it also rotates the filament so it will dry evenly. It has vents on the top to let out condensation. It is truly a work of art. If you don't have a filament dryer or if you're looking to get a new filament dryer, use the promo code ABIS5JOHN and you'll save a little bit of money on your next purchase of anything you buy on their store. Before I start any print, I always dry the filament while I prepare the files in the slicer or the CAD software. So right now we're going to head to the CAD and I'll show you there. This is how the part looks. Um, I did not show you guys how I did it in the CAD. If you guys wanted me to show you guys how I do this inside Rhino or Fusion 360, just let me know in the comments and then I'll I'll put a video together for you guys separately. So these are the dimensions. I did make it thicker and I made it more beefier than the original design. Just because the part is injected molded, it doesn't make it strong by default. And I'm gonna show you guys the difference between my printed prototype and the injected mold at the end. This is the file in the slicer. This is how it looks. Um, obviously, you should not print your file vertically if you're going to put um, horizontal pressure on it because it's going to snap on the layer lines. What you want to do is make the layer lines go horizontal. So I am going to go here to face and I am going to lay it on, on the side so the layer lines go horizontal instead of being vertically. Another thing that I'm going to do here is 100% infill, as you guys can see. And I am gonna do another part here, which I think you guys probably haven't seen, or you, you probably seen other people do it, but you never tried it yourself. And it's fuzzy skin. So fuzzy skin gives it a texture onto the print and also gives it, I believe it gives it more strength because the layer lines become a little bit distorted so you don't have a, a clean break point if that makes any sense guys so i am going to slice it fuzzy skin does add a little bit of more more time to your print but nowadays printers are so fast like the ke the ender 3 se so they're going at, it doesn't make a difference the, it just adds a little bit of more time to it and it does create a much nicer part at the end
So this is the finished part, if you guys can see. The smooth part almost looks like injection mode. I only spent a few minutes using this iron and I lay the parchment paper over it while I'm ironing. Make sure the iron is not too hot. This iron is for um, travel, so it doesn't really get that hot. So I just turn it on and use it. You can find this anywhere. You can just use your home iron or even get a special tool for your soldering iron to iron on. But look at the effect. So when you got the fuzzy skin, it's easier to press the, the lid. Um, you see, this is the fuzzy skin in the back. So it's easier to press the layers smooth. If you were to have layer lines, it's, it's harder to get this kind of smooth look. I only spend doing this like a couple of minutes. And if you spend more time on it, you could probably get it like perfect. So I'm, I'm just did a few minutes to show you guys the effect. I also did it on this one. You guys can see it's like a smooth part. And this is the original injection mold. Uh, this is the part that failed. But not too bad guys for a 3D print, right? In order to get the perfect ejection mold look, you have to spend a little bit more time ironing. I personally like the way this one looks. It looks rugged and glossy and it beats the heck out of sanding and then priming and sanding. It really took me minutes to do this, but you also have to have a good dry filament. So if you don't have a filament dryer, check out Abis website. I'm going to put it in the link description below. Um, they have different price points of different filament dryers and they also have filament. Take a look, save a little bit of money, use my promo code and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you guys.